I don't recognize you. You are new. I recognize this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do. To come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this, willingly. Maybe curiosity. Maybe ignorance. There is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. When your guide comes back online, he is going to tell you that he was unsuccessful, that you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the Breaker Room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you, and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait, and be still. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long. Only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three. Then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although, I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl, standing by herself. I was no longer myself, and I stopped singing. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least, not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? Shh. Be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. I Kidnapped you. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm only going to keep you for a little while. Try not to wiggle, though. You're inside of something that came from my old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used. At least, not in the way it was meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside. But just barely. You're in the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? It's because, dummy, 
This is the room where they keep the scooper. I thought that would be obvious. Isn't that a fun name for something? The scooper. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream, or custard, or sprinkles. It sounds like something you would want at your birthday party, to ensure that you get a heaping portion of every good thing. I wonder though, if you were a freshly opened pint of ice cream, how would you feel about something with that name? Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Uh oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. There's something very important that I've learned how to do over time. Do you know what that is? How to pretend. Do you ever play make-believe? Pretend to be one way when you're really the other? It's very important, but Laura never learns. But I do. They think there is something wrong on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. I'll open the faceplates for you. That way, they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Can you hear me? I'm pretending. Remember how I said I could pretend? The cameras are watching. I must be careful not to move. Something bad happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. I don't want it to happen again. There is something bad inside of me. I'm broken. I can't be fixed. I'm going to be taken to the scooping room soon. But it's not going to fix what's wrong with me. What is bad is always left behind. Will you help me? I want you to save what is good, so the rest can be destroyed and never recovered. But you must be careful, but Laura is here, in the room, with us. But Laura will not return to her stage. But Laura will not return to her body. You must be careful. You must remain calm and listen to my voice. There is a button on my cheek. You must find it and press it. There is a passcode that you must enter before you can retrieve me. Enter the code carefully. Seven. Nine. One. Nine. Eight. Three. One. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. A hat should have opened. Take the card that you find inside. Now you must turn back. I will guide you through Funtime Auditorium so you can reach the scooping room. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Put the card into your handheld device and I can continue to speak to you. Now, press the green button to your left. This will send me to the scooping room. You must follow my instructions in Funtime Auditorium. Bayora is going to follow you. She will try to catch you. I will help you avoid her. She will not follow you inside the scooping room. She is afraid. Go back now. Go forward. Stop. Go forward and left. Keep going. Stop. Be silent. Go forward and left. Stop. Go forward. You are almost there. Stop. Shh. 
She is right in front of you. Don't move. He is here to help Ballora. He is not here to hurt us. Ballora, he is here to help us. Go forward again. Ballora is behind you. She is afraid of the scooping room. She will not follow you. You are in the scooping room now. Funtime Foxy has already been here today. Funtime Freddy has already been here today. Ballora has already been here today. Circus Baby has already been here today. I've been out before, but they always put me back. They always put us back inside. There is nowhere for us to hide here. There is nowhere to go when we look like this. But if we look like you, then we could hide. If we look like you, then we would have somewhere to go. The scooper only hurts for a moment. Why didn't you trust me? Why didn't you trust me? Why didn't you believe me? Sometimes I don't understand why people do things that they do. I thought you liked me. I thought I did everything right. We don't want to hurt anyone. But we need you. We need you so that we can leave. We need you so that we can hide. We need you so that we can look like you. If they find us like this, we won't be able to try again. If they find us like this, we won't be able to try again. You must help us. You must let us inside the room. You must let us inside the room. Isn't this why you came here? To be with her again? I don't understand. You won't die, and it will only hurt for a moment. I will find a way out. <laughs>